Martin Jones in net tonight? Yes. And Ryan Donato in the lineup? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure. Or what? Hack, the players we spoke to this morning said obviously a key to this game is sticking to the system and keeping it simple. Is that your message to the group? Well, I just, I mean, we, we have to go and play the play to our identity and who we are and um, do it consistently. That's, I mean, that's how you find success on the road. How much confidence do you think this group has been able to build, you know, through the new year with the stretch of wins and finding different ways to win? And how important is that when you come in and do a game like this? Well, we've approached this road trip just, you know, one piece at a time. You know, I mean, I, think, I believe was asked that question, you know, in, in, in our first game on, on the start of this trip. Uh, back in Edmonton, how you attack it, and um, you know, just that, just you know, take one piece at a time. Make sure we're ready to play. Um, every every game brings a different challenge. This one, uh, obviously, has been the hardest building to play in in the league for visiting teams. So, uh, you know, that brings uh, that brings a great challenge. Dave, you've seen young players go through a lot of firsts, and this is obviously a special city for Maddie. Do you see that this might mean something more to him tonight to play here for the first time as a pro? Well, I'd, I would. I'm sure he's going to be excited to play here. Um, you know, and the other piece, you know, that uh, that's going to come with that. And, you know, Maddie's been able to meet each challenge pretty well. Um, he's got a pretty good perspective, so uh, I, w I would expect that that'll continue here today. Um, you know, he'll uh, he'll probably have a little extra, you know, a little extra energy, uh, a little extra adrenaline. Uh, but, you know, based off his track record, he'll be able to channel that pretty well. Do you think it's important to mark some of these more important firsts, or is it just we're sticking to the plan and tackling these games one at a time? Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, it's not going to be something that we'll talk about. I don't know how you would mark it. Um, you mark it by going out and playing really well. Um, and, and, you know, that's obviously that, you know, that's going to be what's needed here today. You're playing a team that's outstanding five on five. They've got depth uh, from top to bottom. Uh, specialty teams have been very good and uh, they're very comfortable playing here at home. So um, you mark it by going out and playing really well. Have there been any parts of your team's game that you've kind of told them need to be specifically locked in that maybe you've been looking for a little bit of improvement or anything when you're heading into this matchup? Well, there's, I mean, there, there's always areas that uh, that we need to be better in, uh, with you know, with the limited practice time. There's, you know, there's there's an area or two that we touch on every day, um, you know, whether it's systematically or, or you know our approach to different situations. But um, that's that's a daily process. So we're you know we're uh, uh, we're continually doing that, and you know nothing specific towards today that's that's out of routine. If you look at the way the league is going toward offense, speed, skill, can't clutch and grab all that. That said, what do you think are the most challenging defensive principles, especially for young players, to grasp as they come in? Stick the body. Stay well, body. yeah, it depends. I mean, it, it really depends on on the position. Um, if are you are you specifically asking about Maddie or just in, oh, general? in general? Yeah, it depends on you know on the position, and everybody's gonna you know everybody's going to play a little bit differently but you know just being able to uh, understand the ability to take away time and space and how you effectively can do that everybody's a little bit different in how they can do that whether it's it's with their their feet their stick their their brain um, but you know in today's game uh, you have to be able to you have to be able to limit your opposition's time and space with the puck um, and you, you still have to have some old school hardness to you because if you get there and you can't end a play, um, you, you know, all the work that you've done till that point goes for naught. This one's specifically about Maddie. Um, before the season, we were kind of talking about the grind of the NHL season, especially coming out of college and how much more he's had to play. Are you impressed with how he's handled that grind? Well, he's, he's handled it well to this point, and, and you know, he's. I believe he's made you know slight adjustments uh, to you know to some of his routines without getting into that. Um, you know he, he's he's a guy that analyzes his game well. I believe he understands and you know and, and knows where he's at energy wise. Um, and he's got some good guys around him to learn from. You know it's not just about always you know, doing more and working harder. Sometimes it's, you know, it's managing your, your time on the ice. You're managing 
um, you know, how you're, how and where you're directing your energy. And, you know, to this point, uh, he's, he's done a good job of that. I'm sure he's going to continue learning as he, uh, you know, as he grows in this league. Um, and it's for sure, it's going to be important for him uh, in the second half. I mean, we're at the halfway point tonight. So, you know, there's still, there's a grind in front of us. Coach, um, you, between the Edmonton games, um, kind of po posed a question to your team and put out a challenge to see if they'd be able to, to really do what it takes and, and to embrace the, the challenge, as you mentioned, ahead to play how you want to play. Putting the win streak aside, do you feel that the team has answered that question for you a little bit? Yeah, I didn't. I, I don't recall actually having a real challenge for them. We, you know, we challenged ourselves to show up at practice the next day and and work hard and have a great attitude and and you know have a good outlook on on our next game, which was against the, the New York Islanders. Um, our guys did that, um, so we we took care of the day. Really, that's all we did. Uh, we tried to take care of the day after a real tough night. Uh, you know, at home with with that uh, with that loss against Edmonton. Um, seems like a long time ago right now but uh, it was that one stands out it was you know it was a tough loss um, so we, we didn't try to do too much we just you know, made sure we sh showed up and did the right things the next day. Given the transition be like the learning curve going from the college ranks to the pros obviously you can't speak for every coach who goes through that but what did you learn in that transition? Uh, for myself? Yeah. Oh man that seems like a long time ago. Um, Maybe you think back. It's yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's a, I knew right away it's, you know, it's a, it's a different rhythm um, without question. Um, you know, you're dealing with a different level of athlete, uh, you know, so communication is, you know, and learning to communicate and um, not just, I mean, communication is one thing, but timely communication, efficient communication um, and, and just really efficiency in everything that you're doing. Um, as I said, it's a different rhythm. You have very little practice time. Um, yeah, you know, so there's different challenges that that come with it. But oh no, it's still it's you know it's it's a game of hockey, and you're you know you're working with great people and having the ability to coach uh, coach with and coach really good people and intelligent players. Um, you know, was uh, yeah, obviously that was that was a big part of the the transition and, and was really enjoyable. But as I said, it seems like it's a long time ago now. <laughs> Go back. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Dave.